There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Grounder down the line at third. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Now the three and two pitch. Popped him up. Hernandez over to his right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no air. Ready to go for the last half of the yeah. inning. Yeah. And into bat yeah. next, it'll be Tyler Naquin. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Heading out towards shallow right. Garcia has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Now back. So now Carlos Santana looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. No balls and a strike to count. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. At the plate, Austin Hedges. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And they start him out away with a cold strike. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. Ready with the 0-2. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone. Phil Maton will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 88. Seventh inning ready to roll and set to go is the second baseman, Yomer Sanchez. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Hernandez stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Now that. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now. He was a ground out victim last time up. And now a pitch on the way. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far. And what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. Here it comes, 0-2. The count is 1-2. Still a ball and two strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Milo Jimenez. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one from the stretch. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. The 1 0 home is a fastball that misses. 2 0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Hit hard to third, right to Ramirez. Throw to first in plenty 